This was a piece of um, the, the little cabinet I showed you. Mm -hmm. It was wrapped in shrink wrap, and I wanted to show you if you exploit materials, what you can do with them. This is the shrink wrap from the plastic. Oh. It used to look like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did you do that? I have a whole bunch of that. But shrink wrap is a special type of plastic, and a lot of people don't know this, but it's called memory plastic. Mm -hmm. And so you can take a piece of this plastic, and if you hold it over heat, it goes back to its original form, which is a very thick piece of plastic like this. Mm -hmm. And if you take a look, um, all these pallets wrapped up with it. Uh, anyway, there we go. Oh. If you look at this piece here, I actually placed this over a quarter oh. and it takes mm -hmm. the exact detail mm -hmm. that's in the quarter. Mm -hmm. So take a look at that and you'll see how fine a detail you can get. Mm -hmm. How cool. <clears throat> from, uh, but that's from shrink wrap. And so if you look at this, this is cord I made from shrink wrap. It's really strong. Mm -hmm. try, to, oh, yeah. try to break that. You can't, you can't break it. No, no, no. Okay. How do you get the color? That's uh, just, just paint. Oh. And then this basically is a whatever flower or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's the shrink wrap too, but it just thickens as you heat it. It gets thicker and thicker and thicker. Hmm. Does it shrink in the process? Or? Well, yeah, it's shrinking. And it shrinks down. This is a piece of shrink wrap that used to be this big. Wow. But this is what it remembers, oh, yeah. is its original size. That is really cool. That's cool. Yeah. So if you know what materials are made for, then you know how to make it.